morning Friday, August 23rd. I am in Genesis, and um, this is chapter 37 and verse 3. It says, Now Israel loved Joseph more than all of his children, because he was the son of his old age. Also he made him a tunic of many colors. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all the other brothers, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. And you know the story. They ultimately threw him in a pit where he he got carried away by the Egyptians. And um, But you also know the rest of the story where he became hit, the head of the Egyptian country and uh, over with, with Pharaoh. So... My theme today is somebody's always going to get hurt. <laughs> it's never fair. Life is just not fair. And so I'm even looking at these elections, and I don't know how they're going to go, who's going to win. But no matter who gets in there, many people are going to be upset. I don't care which way you go. No matter which way you go, there's going to be a lot of people going to be upset. And so I thought about uh, how life is just of unfair, you know. So we talk about... Uh, you remember the story of the prodigal son? Well, you know, he wasted all his money and, and all his inheritance and everything. But when he came back, the father, you know, um, uh, put on the fatted calf for him and just welcomed him home and ran after him. But the son that never had gone astray, was he, he hated his brother. He's like, what? I've always been here. Well, you know, so this is just not fair. And so we can even go back to Cain and Abel, you know, where um, God accepted Abel's sacrifice and not Cain's. And so Cain killed Abel. I mean, he was mad. He said, just, it's not fair. <laughs> and so then we can also go to Jacob and Esau, where Jacob got the um, father's blessing because he tricked his father. And so Esau was like, it's just not fair. How is this fair? And so he wanted to kill his brother. And so then we can um, we can even go back into families, you know. And I know, and even in my family, my par my grandmother, you know, favored one of us more than the other. And parents do that; they favor one kid over another, and it just happens. And because life is just not fair. And I even thought about I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but there's a movie called The Notebook, where this girl, you know, was in love with this crazy guy that was real radical and and everything and but then she her mother wanted her to marry this rich guy so she finds this really rich guy and she would have lived happily ever after with this rich guy but she really wanted this other you know this crazy guy you know but her statement was no matter which way i turn no matter what i decide somebody's going to be hurt it's just going to not be fair to somebody and so life is not fair however god always has a plan god Always, you know, he he knew everything. He knew, you know, how the story of Cain and Abel is going to turn out. He knew about Jacob and Esau. He knew, he knew all these things. And he, of course, he allows everything for a purpose because he used it. And he he knew about Joseph. He knew that, uh, you know, he he knows everything in advance. There's no time with God, right? And so, either God makes it happen or he allows stuff to happen. You know. And so life cannot be fair. So we sort of need to, I guess, I don't know what my theme is other than let's get over ourselves. <laughs> you know, we need to, it's not about us, right? It's all about what the end result is. And we know the end of the book. We know God's going to win. You know, we're just pawns in the universe, right? And so we're just, and, and you know, eh, you know, life's not fair. <laughs> we're the whiners, you know. When we need to be the winners. So be a winner. Be on Jesus' side. Be on God's side. See what God, watch what God is doing. Even though it looks like it's not fair. Even though it looks like somebody's going to get hurt or a lot of people are going to get angry, you know. Just uh, seek God, you know, and, um, and to know that you are loved. And so a lot of things don't matter because God's put you on this earth for a purpose. He created you for such a time as this. He loves you. And so no matter what, if things don't look fair, look at we'll see what God's got the plan. He's going to work everything out for his good, right?
according to his riches and glory, it says. So you have a great day and a great weekend, and I'll see you Monday. <laughs> I love you, and Jesus loves you so much more. Bye-bye.